Hi, I'm Karen Williams, CEO of uh, Savitude, and I'm here to talk with you about uh, our SaaS B2B model uh, in the fashion tech space. And um, I'm excited to um, share with you not only the opportunity to uh, have a, a consumer-facing experience that also allows for data for brands and retailers so that they can address fit problems reduce the impact on the environment and create an engagement and uh, sell through with their customers. And the, the question is why, why are we focused on this? One of the things that we've learned is most people have some problem finding clothing that fits and flatters them. And we've learned through our research that it's not just size based, it's based on um, design details and body shape. And that's a unique opportunity for us to, to focus on that which results in returns. And we've learned that returns um, with size-based solutions haven't gone down, they've actually increased, not just because of COVID, but because of the increase in e-commerce engagement. And so the amount of clothing that goes into landfill is actually increasing um, over what we have on this slide. Um, the most current information is up 10%. Um, we've learned um, through our proprietary research that and the experience of our founders, that there's opportunity out there not just to reduce um, the impact on the environment, to reduce waste, but also to target the underserved populations. The design standards are based on um, um, body shape, uh, the hourglass body shape that was um, that's been used as a standard for many, many decades. And the design details are appropriate to that. One of the challenges is that um, designers aren't trained to design for all body shapes. And so you have underserved populations. And we wanna shine a light on that, demonstrate that opportunity to um, the industry and ensure that there's a way for them to address it. Um, the team is, uh, I'm excited to be part of this team. Um, I have a background in strategic operations and um, production and operations management. My experience as a product design engineer from Stanford, um, coupled with my experience uh, at Harvard, uh, focused on um, design and product development and driving um, results that can be rec replicated comes to play here. And I'm very fortunate to be working with um, experts um, in machine learning and computer vision as founders and experts with unique capability in predictive modeling and fashion design. So we have a unique team that's done remarkable things. And I, I because I'm um, 10 months in, I get to brag about them a little bit and I love that part. Um, we also have some folks in the industry that are supporting, uh, um, have been in the industry that are supporting us and guiding our, our um, evolution. And you know, why are we the, the right people to be working on this? You know, I talked about the unique capability and that has really taken the art and the science in um, this product or this, this challenge and bringing it together. I don't believe that this is, would be possible without the technology that's available today and the um, unique capability that brings the understanding of not only fashion design um, and what looks good from an art and aesthetics perspective, but also how do you model that? Um, and so we, we have a patent that is the foundation for our platform uh, that was issued in November that matches uh, body shape and design details. Mm -hmm. And so, um, as I said, we start with the, the consumer experience. And while we're a B2B platform, we know that in omni-channel, one of the best opportunities to gather information is from your consumers. Not only the ones that currently shop with you and have great have an experience, but ones that come to you, want to shop with you, and may not be able to find something that fits and flatters them. That could be a driver of returns. It also could be driving people away from you. And so our, our ability to gather information allows us to provide information in near real time to merchandisers for assortment optimization, who then can guide their designers in terms of what are the opportunities to improve um, their, um, uh, their uh, performance. Uh, we've proven a 25%, uh, I'm sorry, we've proven um, with, uh, um, with um, a, a test with, a pilot test with 5 million customers at a top 10 retailer, an 11.1% lift net returns by using our uh, creative search, using our ability to match design details to body shape. 
and we uh, demonstrated that we can increase the coverage by our analytics and recommendations by changing design details and offering recommendations to the designer and the merchandiser so that they can increase sell-through, again, without adding SKUs. This is redistributing the, the production today and also providing detail that can help them tighten up their inventory. And I know the industry is really focusing on reducing that over the next five years. And then the, the third module is helping designers who drive the creativity, but also um, get the benefit of an analysis and recommendations based on their brand's DNA. So unique to them that allows them to optimize design details and increase coverage and reduce uh, cycle time on innovation with about 25% is where we've been proven. And in terms of our, our competitive set, you see that gray bubble, there's a lot of concentration, very, um, a lot of competition in um, assortment planning based on size and 2D fit. There are a lot of folks that are competing in that area. And that's primarily focused on um, assortment optimization post-production, post, -production, post um, the collection, um, uh, final collection. And we're focused on optimization pre-production, before the brand um, has finalized the assortment, really focused on the consumer. So consumer-centric assortment optimization, the earliest point in the design phase and the, the buying phase so that you can prevent waste from entering the system and you can optimize for the consumers that are coming to you and want to love you. Um, we have three pilots in the planning phase that we're real excited about and have just received approval and a technical review for a cloud provider who's looking to to um, broaden their ecosystem of partners. Um, we've gotten recognition from Fashion Guild International this spring, as well as recognition listing in the Gartner Market Guide for Retail Assortment Optimization Applications. Um, and most exciting as we've worked with our pilot, uh, our, our, uh, our prospects in understanding their needs, we've discovered more opportunities to monet monetize and we'll be updating our um, SOM in the next few weeks. Um, we are, our ask is um, we're raising $5 million in seed funds, and we're looking for partners on this journey. Um, we are looking for two years of engineering sales and support and um, to be able to um, productize, um, release a 3D pattern or uh, patterns and 3D visualization. If you can imagine images on bodies um, and shape similar avatars, increasing the confidence both of our designers and our merchandisers of how a design looks on a body, but also consumers who are really looking for confidence in their purchases and will benefit from seeing someone who looks like me. So we'd like you to join us in reshaping fashion. Um, and, and we'd ask you to experience the power by going to um, an affiliate link that we have to demonstrate the power of the technology create at savitude.com. I'll put it in the chat. We have a WeFunder that's active now as well. And uh, really um, take, a, take a pass at it, look at the technology, take our gender inclusive visual quiz. It's not 3D based because we know that 70% of people are very firm on you're not taking my picture. Um, and so this gives a, an experience for people to be able to engage and um, find clothes that fit and flatter them. So I'll put some information in the chat and please reach out to me if you have interest or questions, I welcome them.